The yes, you want answers from the university, and we want them now. For months, we have demanded a review of the disciplinary system to ensure that students can get justice. For years, we have marched, lobbied and organised against the university's permissive acceptance of sexual violence, racism, anti-Semitism and other forms of oppression at Warwick. Now we are stating that the university cannot give us a seat at the table without listening to our voices. For our safety's sake, we are in a crisis of confidence in the university systems and ultimately management. Students and staff have absolutely no confidence that their safety and rights are taken seriously at Warwick. So, we demand an emergency meeting with the Vice-Chancellor, Stuart Croft, to discuss our issues and make sure that students' voices, especially the survivors in sexual violence cases, can be heard and listened to. Just months ago, the Vice-Chancellor appeared in our We Get Consent video, committing to actively fostering a culture of respect for all and making our campus as safe as inclusive as possible. Yet this feels anything but. We can no longer work with the university on issues of racism, sexism, or any other liberation issues for that matter, in good faith. For that, we must hold management to account. When the Vice-Chancellor accepts our emergency meeting, we want students' voices to be heard. To do this, we are having a meeting after the all-student vote meeting uh, on Monday the 4th of February uh, in MR2, so please check our Facebook details for more information, so we can then collectively come together and think about some demands we want to take to management. We must now turn our anger, fear and outrage into action. Let's come together to change our university. Please share this video so that all students have a chance to have their voices heard. If these events have affected you and you require help or support, please see the list of services in the description.